In this video we're going to be taking a look at revisions in Drupal 8. Generally it's nothing fancy but it's still nice to go through it and see how we can use them. We're going to have a look at how we can activate or deactivate revisions per content type which is basically enabling or disabling the create new revision checkbox by default and we're going to see generally how we can use them. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and if we just go to the structure content types, if we select for example the article content type and if we click on edit under publishing options, we're going to see that here we could either select or deselect the create new revision to be checked by default and keep in mind that if you have the content moderation module activated this would be disabled and you would not be able to change this value here so but now we don't have that module activated we just have a normal vanilla drupal installation so let's go ahead and see how it looks like with it activated if we just jump to content and since we are editing here the options for the article if we just edit a article we see that here at the top under published there is a create new revision so let's quickly have a look at what would happen if we have it disabled well basically here it would be disabled as you see and the revisions are nice if we want to keep track of the changes that we're doing to certain content for example let's go ahead and activate it again because let's say in our scenario we would need it basically you could also activate it and deactivate it if you need it but yeah that's quite clear so here we say we want to add, for example, body and we're saying we're having a nice body text, body body and we're creating a new revision and we're saying here adding body text and it's cool, like the revision lock message would simply specify what was added in this revision so let's go ahead and save it now and everything looks fine we have our change here but what is interesting is if we go to the revisions tab we now see that here we have another revision and we have also the text that we added which generally says what was added in this revision so if we want to for example revert this revision and we want to have the article without the body text we could go ahead and here revert the previous revision and as we do that we basically create a new revision and the new revision if we see the content is without the body there we go the body is empty but it's not generally deleted the revision with the body still exists here and we could use it to revert the body text again which is super cool that means that this way you are able to keep all the changes and you are able basically to add new stuff and if something gets deleted by mistake or by someone because of not knowing what is the general purpose for example you could easily check the revision and revert the stuff.
basically here before you decide to revert you could have a look at the revision with the changes that were existing at that point and if you really want to revert to this revision you could just go ahead and click on revert again and confirm and if we just have a look at the edit page we see that now we have the body text again which is super cool so generally this is how you could use revisions in your Drupalite project if you like this video please have a look at the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching